let's make a delicious and juicy smoked brisket on the Weber kettle. It's gonna come out perfectly cooked, nice and smoky, and dripping with juices. One of the most important parts of a good brisket is the flavor profile on the outside. For my rub, I like to add one part salt, one part finely crushed black pepper, one part garlic powder, and half a part beef bouillon. That's the secret to my brisket. You give it a nice mix and mix it really well. Then get your brisket out and put it into a tray. Using your fingers, sprinkle the rub from higher up onto the brisket. You can, if you want, use a binder. A binder is just something like mustard or olive oil, just to help the rub stick onto it. But I don't find it necessary. This brisket is moist enough, so I'm just going with the rub direct. Little pro tip, by sprinkling from up above, you get a much better even distribution. And you wanna coat it very evenly. Remember that there's four ingredients in there. So we want everything to get nice and coated. On top, inside the crevice, of course, on the sides, nothing worse than having a piece of brisket without a good flavor, and on the bottoms. Then we cover it up with some ran wrap and get it in the fridge until our Weber kettle is ready. If you want, you can leave it overnight. The salt will penetrate deeper, which could give it a nicer flavor. Now setting up of the Weber kettle. Step one, always make sure that your grill is nice and clean. Empty out any debris that are left over. As you can see from my last cook, I have quite a bit of ash. I push it into the ash basket and I take it out, throw it out and start again. Now I'm gonna be cooking using the snake method. So I put briquette charcoals all along the side in a snake formation and I'm using Bear Mountain's hickory wood chunks. I find hickory pairs incredibly well with brisket. By the way guys, if you want 20% off, go ahead and use the code on your screen. I'll also leave a link for it in the description section. Then some coals into the chimney, get a little fire starter underneath, and light it up. Now the fire is starting, we're going to leave it for about 10 to 15 minutes to get going. Now if you've seen my videos on the Weber kettle, you'll know that one of my favorite tools to use is the Spider Grill's Venom Attachment. I actually got this magnetic backup battery, which allows me to use it without plugging it directly into the wall, which is very, very convenient. All you do it has a magnetic bottom. You snap it on, plug it in, press the side button, and it powers up the Venom attachment. Check the link up here above where I talk about the Venom attachment, give more details on it, and do a full review. Anyways, I get the probe in, I hit start, let it power up, and I set the internal temperature targeting to 275. I press start, and it tells me to adjust the vents to a quarter opened. Now my charcoals are pretty much set and we're gonna pour them over the end. This is gonna start to light the top of the snake and get going. I get my grates on and we move into the next step, grilling the brisket. I'm gonna be using my meter probe to measure the internal temp. Ugh. Okay, that was a bit tough. And guys, everything I use, I leave a link for in the description section. So there you see I have two meter probes, one in the thinner part of the brisket and one in the thicker part. But now we're going to set up the meter. We select beef. I'm going to be choosing roast and setting it for an internal temp of 170. This is a second cut or a point cut brisket. So it's going to be a nice and fatty piece of meat. I get it away from the flame. So for an indirect cook and just for a little bit more smoky flavor, I added in a tube of hickory wood pellets. Also, Bear Mountain. And if you're liking this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. There you go, smoke is started. It's keeping it at that 230 and slowly, slowly coming up to temp. Now, just to keep the monitoring going, because I was having a little bit of issues with the meter, I'm adding in my Thermoworks attachment. And I'm putting it right through the pro port, which again, guys, check out the link above for how I install that pro port into the Weber kettle. This is the signals by Thermoworks incredible attachment and I set the target temperature to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. I just open up for a second to put some beef short ribs. I'm going to be cooking that side by side. Take a look. Perfectly smoky. It's already starting to form a nice bark. I adjusted now the thermal works to have a target of 180 because it hit that 160 pretty quick. 
and this one I'm not spraying at all unless I notice like here the bark was starting to form a little too heavy on the edges then I spray those parts but other than that I didn't want to spray too much and if you guys want to join our members block I'll leave a link for it in the description section as usual it's a couple bucks a month but it helps to support this channel in an incredible way once it hits 180 out it goes I'm gonna let the ribs continue to cook and I'm gonna be using the foil boat method foil boat is basically aluminum foil tied around all over the brisket and leaving the fat cap on top exposed just like that mm, looks delicious and smells even better and those ribs are coming along nicely too back in the kettle it goes I'm just gonna rip this piece off it's getting a little too crunchy also I want to taste it oh, looks so good hmm that's really good 30 minutes later you can see the bark starting to form a bit better and here we are setting the thermal works upping it again to 195 and once it comes to 195 out it goes about an hour later it has hit 195 internal we let it rest for about an hour before cutting into it and look at those juices the bottom that's what's nice about the foil boat method all the juices stay intact we cut into it so we prefer our brisket not pull apart like most people we like it with a little bit of a chew so that's why i had my brisket target at 195. the final target once it hit it out it went it made sure that it stays extremely juicy and the final result exactly what i was looking for a beautiful smoke ring on the outside incredibly juicy and just a little bit of pull when i'm pulling it apart and we keep slicing into it now we slice through and we're gonna eat thank you for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one